By request, let's see what is the kernel of a linear map, what is the null space of a matrix, how are these two things related, and how do you compute them? These are very common topics in linear algebra, so let's go through the definitions and then through some examples and let's work it out uh, what the kernel and null space actually is. If we have a linear map f from a vector space v to another vector space w, then the kernel of that function are those vectors in v that go to zero in w. So those vectors v such that f of v is exactly zero, where zero is a zero vector in the vector space w. For example, if that linear map is the derivative of polynomials with real coefficients, then the kernel will be those polynomials such that when I take the derivative, I get the zero polynomial. And we know from calculus that those are the constant polynomials. So the kernel of the derivative map is exactly those polynomials that are constants, equal to a k in the real numbers. Now, if we have a linear map between vector spaces that are finite dimensional, for example, over the real numbers, then we're going to be able to put them in coordinates with respect to a basis of that vector space, and they are going to look like this one. For example, here f goes from r2 to r2 and sends a vector x, y to the vector x plus y, 2x plus 2y. So what is the kernel of this map? If you want to try it out before I do it, stop the video here. So what vectors in R2 are in the kernel of this map? Those will be vectors x, y, such that x plus y and 2x plus 2y are both equal to zero. Now, this equation is just a multiple of that equation, so this system is equivalent to just x plus y equals zero, or x is equal to minus y. Therefore, the kernel of the map are exactly those vectors x, y, such that x is equal to minus y, so those are the vectors minus y, y for any real number y. Notice, by the way, that minus y, y is just y times a scalar multiple of minus 1, 1. Therefore, every one of those vectors is a scalar multiple of minus 1, 1, and therefore the kernel is equal to the span of minus 1, 1. So it's a one-dimensional space generated by minus 1, 1. Alternatively, we can write linear maps between finite dimensional vector spaces in terms of matrix multiplication. In this case, this map is the map that sends x, y to the matrix 1, 1, 2, 2 multiplied by x, y. Therefore, the kernel of my map f is equal to the null space of that matrix 1, 1, 2, 2. Because the null space of an n by n matrix, so a matrix with n rows and m columns, it's precisely those vectors in Rm such that a times v is equal to zero. That's the definition of null space. So to compute the kernel of my function f, I have to compute the null space of my matrix 1, 1, 2, 2, which is the one associated with this linear map. So I'm looking for those vectors x, y, such that a times x, y gives me the zero vector. Now, something that you learn in linear algebra or that you prove in linear algebra is that the null space of a matrix A is equivalent to the null space of any other matrix A, such that A and A prime differ by what we call elementary row operations. So if I want to compute the null space of a matrix A, then what I do is elementary row operations until I reach a uh, matrix that is in what we call row reduced echelon form, which are the easiest to tell what the solutions of those matrices are for the kernel. So for example, if I start with 1, 1, 2, 2, then I can do the following elementary row operation. I can replace R2 by R2 minus twice the first row. So R2 minus 2, R1. And that gives me that the matrix I started from is equivalent through what we call Gaussian elimination or row reduction to the matrix 1, 1, 0, 0. Finally, I want to compute the kernel of F, which is equal to the null space of the matrix A. The matrix A has this null space by definition. I row reduce the matrix and I get to this one. So that null space will be the same as this null space. And this null space is equivalent to finding x, y, such that x plus y is equal to zero which, as we saw before, is the span of the vector minus 1, 1.